and welcome to another 3ABN cooking program. We are the Mitchiff Sisters. <laughs> I'm Linda. I'm Brenda. And I'm Cinda. <laughs> and guess what? We are going to have a, a party, party today! <laughs> I love parties. Today, we are going to have a pasta party. That's right, and I love pasta. Who I doesn't do love too. pasta? I think anywhere you go in the world, there's some form of pasta in that country. You're exactly right. Yes, it's wonderful. In, in different ways. And uh, That's we've right. tasted things that are so different when we go to different countries, from Italy to Africa to Brazil, you know, Brazil <laughs> to Bangkok. Yeah. They all have a form of pasta. So we've got some really, really unique dishes for you today. Let's take a look at what we're going to prepare today. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, we're going to start with my garden vegetable ragu. Yes, and you don't want to say rag out like I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have bow tie pasta salad. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a good dish for any meal. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to spicy Hungarian goulash. Ooh, you got me at spicy. And the Hungarian. <laughs> <laughs> and my Italian pasta cups. I love how uniquely shaped these are. Those I know. Are, those are really good. And then beef stroganoff. Oh, that is so don't good. Don't worry, it's vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to end it off with lasagna roll ups. Oh, well, that's fitting. We're going to roll it up. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to roll it up. Roll up things for the lasagna roll ups. <laughs> hey, folks, we'd like to say we planned that, but we did not. <laughs> When I when I emailed my recipe to my sisters, Brenda goes calls me up and she goes, Cinda, seriously, you're gonna call your recipe rag out? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, Brenda. I said because when, it's really really messy when you eat it and you got to get your rag out <laughs> <laughs> or your napkin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I never heard of that before. Okay, have you? <laughs> <laughs> it is pronounced ragu. Ragu. All right, so ragu. <laughs> and you know, ragu is really um, a stew, and it originated in um, France. Oh, so it's so a French it, name. Uh huh. It's really um, a thick stew, and it's any kind of vegetable that you want, and then you slowly cook it down. And um, some people leave it really like you're really thin, and some mm -hmm. people will thicken it. Okay. And um, I I'm leaving it thin okay. because that's what my husband likes. Well, hey. So you know we got we to do please cook our husbands. To please our husbands. <laughs> that is very important. <laughs> the secret of a Good Mary. <laughs> Always pleased your husband. You know, which reminds me of Grandma Mitchell. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> no, huh? She gave each one of us advice before we got married. She pulled us aside. It was a real serious conversation. And go ahead. No, huh? <laughs> The marriage, it got to be 95% the woman. <laughs> Sometime, maybe 75, 25. If but you're lucky. If you're lucky, but no Han. It usually 95%. Woman. So you <laughs> keep your man happy. <laughs> <laughs> 95% that woman has to do all the work. On it. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma was a wise woman. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and well, a good cook. Actually, with Jesus, it takes 100%. Yes, you know, it does. It really does. 100% of us, self needs to go. That's we right. need to give all of ourselves to Jesus. And when we do, we are constantly thinking about other people and not our own hurt feelings or anything else. And you know what? That's really God the recipe. God is amazing because that is a recipe Be for happiness. happiness. That's exactly, <laughs> exactly right. right. <laughs> you know, when you love someone too, mm -hmm. you want to do things you for them. them. And right. you want to please them. And um, I know that we all mm -hmm. counsel a lot of women. And I know that one of the well, things. Well, we're not counselors, but we share from our hearts. We're not counselors, but right. we, yeah. exactly, we share from our hearts. And um, one of the things I, I say, you know, what are you all doing for each other? Mm -hmm. And they go, well, I don't want to do anything for him. Uh, you know, what is he doing for me? Mm -hmm. And it's like, then you're not loving. And when you love, it's like you're constantly you wanting to do something. You want to so. do something for the other well, person. Well, Jesus only ever took to give. 
That's he only right. ever took to give. Right. And that's what we're to do. Everything we learn and everything we do, it's really to give back to that's others. Right. And really we're giving back to him. And that's how we show our love to Jesus is by treating others kind. And we start in the home because that's our first mission. Right. So you know what, sisters? I love you both so much <laughs> that I'm going to give you the opportunity to help me. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's get started. So we're going to start by putting some water in this our... Water? Put some water in. All, all of it? Two cups of water, yes. Okay, there we go. And then put in your McKay's chicken seasoning. I love McKay's chicken seasoning. Oh, oh you know what I should too. do first? What? I should probably read the recipe so that they would n be able to so know what I'm putting would like in. like to know, yes. Okay, let me read that recipe for you. <laughs> you will need two cups of water, two tablespoons of McKay's chicken style seasoning, one medium onion finely diced, two cloves of garlic minced, one cup of red bell pepper diced, three cups of zucchini diced or cubed, two cups of baby portobello mushrooms sliced, three cups of fresh asparagus cut into one inch pieces, one cup of fresh tomatoes diced, one 28 ounce can of petite cut tomatoes, two tablespoons of Bragg's liquid aminos, one fourth cup of nutritional yeast flakes, one tablespoon of molasses, one teaspoon of veggie sal or another all purpose seasoning, a fourth a cup of honey, and 1.7 ounce jar of roasted red peppers chopped. Wow. <laughs> it sounds like a lot, it doesn't good. it? I noticed that you, um, in a lot of our recipes, we do use the petite diced tomatoes. And one of the questions, we get a lot of um, letters from viewers, and we love hearing from you. And someone asked if, um, uh, and I actually didn't, uh, it, the, I answered you, but it got bounced back to me on your email, so I wasn't able to, to give you the message. So the truth is, there, sometimes it does matter on between it's a petite diced can or a whole canned tomatoes, because I've noticed that whenever I, my recipes call for whole canned tomatoes, there's more juice mm -hmm. in a whole canned tomato there, there, than there is if it's already diced up. So sometimes it does matter, sometimes it doesn't matter. You know, so if I specifically say whole tomatoes in my recipes, I, I need the whole tomatoes because I'm counting on a lot more juice. Honestly, if you can't mm. find petite diced, you're just going to have more juice. Yes. It's going to still taste Wait. good. You have to notice the beautiful array of colors. Oh, I knew <laughs> this so was going to happen. <laughs> But they're so beautiful. And God says, you know, he, he made all these things. And he says, eat these wonderful things. And when you put them together, you will have good nutrition. That's yep, right. That's right. You won't have to worry about that. And the different textures and things, it's beautiful. Color your plate like, like a, a rainbow. rainbow. Yes. Right. Um, we're going to put our onions in. And I'm, I'm not wanting to put any oil in. So I'm going to cook my onions in the... Um, I've made a broth with mm -hmm. the water and the McKay's chicken style seasoning. This is a vegan the, seasoning. Which seasons onions a little too. So they season It does, and that's, that's why I do that mm -hmm. because I like that. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of garlic to that too um, and let that cook in there with it. Okay. Um, I love a garlic press. It takes muscles to use them too. Yes, <laughs> it does. But that's a good thing. But I, you know what? Do you see this right here? I see your muscles. That's right. I got the muscles. So you know what? <laughs> She's got muscles. I got it. Let me just show you these muscles here. <gasps> Woo! I mean, there you but go. But they're sweet muscles, so she. You know what else is forget. strong? Is this garlic odor? Ooh. I'm I'm now wearing essence of garlic. <laughs> oh, do garlic. <laughs> Woo! Do you want me to stir it for a while? Okay, I'll I'm. No. I'm going to add the veggie cell. I like the veggie cell um, seasoning, but you can also use any vegetable all-purpose seasoning that you want. And now, okay. other than Brenda's totally splashing me with water. <laughs> she's, she, now she's wearing essence of broth. <laughs> well, we Her smell good. good. Come on over, good. sis. Let's see. <laughs> What would you like to wear? I've got okay, my own. What, I, what I generally do is I will let the onions cook a little bit just because you know that none of us like raw onions. But if you mm. don't mind the raw onions, then go ahead and put all your ingredients in and let it simmer slowly until the vegetables are tender. And that's all you have to do. So let's go ahead and add the honey. You want to add the brags? Yeah, we got to get you in on here, sis. 
Let's and slide if, on over here. And if somebody, um, want, a purist, didn't want the honey, if they you could don't use have the to add, you, you don't even have to add the sweetener if you don't want to. Um, you know, and actually, Brenda and I were back in our test kitchen, our prep kitchen here at 3ABN, and we added, guess what, red pepper flakes to ours. So it was good. <laughs> it was really, it was good. really I'd, you know, I would pencil that in right now. That was good. You know, we go to a special place by mom and dad's to get honey that, you know, they don't, um, you know, heat to high temperatures or anything. And no, it is just... so cool because you go into this store. Yeah. yeah. And when you go into the store, Sis, you while you're talking, can yeah, you just dump stuff but when you, can you just when put you're vegetables going into in. the store, nobody's there. And on the on the counter is this huge big cash box with it's open. There's just all kinds of bills. And there's change and everything. And there's a sign there saying, um, uh, put, just take what you want and just put your money here and get your change. Wow, you don't see much of that. Oh, let Linda break these up in little pieces. These okay. are the portobello mushrooms. Now, if you don't have portobello mushrooms, you can use um, just. Is this uh, little pieces? Yep. You don't want it. You don't. You don't have to be that big. I mean, that. Yeah, they don't have to be that little. I mean, you can just do it like this, sis. Look. Oh, okay. That big. Well, I, I just didn't want like huge more. big hunks in it. You can just stand right over here on the other side of Brenda, and plop them in as you're cutting them. And I'm just Maybe dicing up a little bit of fresh tomatoes. Now, I, I, today I've chosen to serve this over um, whole wheat noodles. You can, my husband loves it over potatoes, and I can't decide. I, I actually, um, we actually came out with a brand new cookbook called Family Favorites. Mm -hmm. And this recipe is in our brand new cookbook. And I explained in the cookbook, I can't decide. I, I've had it over polenta. I've had it over quinoa. I've had it over brown rice. So, so y'all try it and tell me what you like. like. And I'm going to show you um, what it looks like. I've, you plated I've, it over I've the pasta. I plated it and over whole grain the pasta. whole grain pasta. Isn't that beautiful? So, and I love your um, uh, pepper rose. Oh, you did thank your pepper you. flower actually. Thank it's you. Not rose. I love that. That's beautiful. I love the ragu. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming up next is my bow tie pasta salad. Let me read the recipe for you. You will need four cups of bow tie pasta cooked, one cup of kidney beans, one cup of pinto beans, one and a half cups of artichokes, water packed, drained, one half cup of sweet red pepper. One half cup of sweet yellow pepper, one cup of green peas frozen, one cup of grape tomatoes, and for the dressing, you will need one fourth cup of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of onions dehydrated, two tablespoons of canola oil, and one teaspoon of sugar. This is one of those really fast and easy recipes that you can make up ahead of time, you can make up the day before, um, so that if you are, have something like a big party or a dinner party or somebody coming over, if it's just your family and you want, need to free up some time, this is great. Mix it up the night before, put it in the refrigerator, and it's good to go. You're good to go. But I did find out something interesting because I did make this up ahead of time, and I found out something interesting. That what? I, it was all gone when you went to serve it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually happened to me before, uh, but I found out if you do make it up ahead of time that um, I put frozen peas in this recipe, and the frozen peas, some of the peas actually um, looked like they, they turned a little bit of color. They say they lost a little bit of their freshness look um, from, uh, you know, waiting. So maybe you if you're last? going to make it up ahead of time, I'm thinking maybe it'd be better to hold out the frozen peas and put those in right before serving, and then you'll preserve the, the fr freshness look of that green pea, you Or know, just don't cook color. your peas so long. They aren't cooked at all. That was oh. what was so amazing. I didn't yeah. cook, you know, there was no, nothing cooked at all. It was just from them being in the pasta and then the sauce, and that's what happened. I, think I was really surprised, actually, by that. I think the wonderful thing about this dish is, is that it can be a one-dish meal. Yes. It can, you know, you, because you don't you've need got anything your protein, else. You've, you've got, got your, your protein, your vegetables. You've got, and the color is like a rainbow, so you've got all the different textures. So you've got good nutrition going on right here. Just just put some whole wheat bread with it or whole wheat dinner rolls or something. And, and if there's something that you don't like in the ingredients, be creative. Say, you know what, I don't really care for that. Don't throw out Make the whole recipe. Make your own substitution. Yeah, say, you know, I don't really love yellow peppers, sweet yellow peppers. So leave them out. 
Put something else in, or just leave them all completely. Or you know, put some, but make sure you get your color in there. You that's don't want right. to put all one color in there. <laughs> you know, that's really important. Yes, it is, because we are going to color, color our plate like, like a rainbow. rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, um, um, I've got just some uh, cooked pasta, and I use the bow tie just because I think it's pretty. But you can actually use this with any pasta that you want to. You've got you say, look in your cupboard, and you go, oh, I don't have bow tie. So what? You got ziti? Use ziti. It's going to be fine. I just happen to love the the shape of this pasta, and I just think it's pretty. And so that's why I did that. And this it is, is already pre-cooked. And, um, and we eat a lot with our eyes. We do. And I... <laughs> I, I always say presentation is everything. everything. Yes, yeah. that's true. Grandma used to tell us that too. She used to say, if the food not going to look good, hon, who's going to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> we always ate her food. <laughs> uh, our, we were really blessed in, to have, you know, Grandma Mitchiff, um, incredible cook, and our mom, mm -hmm. you know, to, mm -hmm. to help us along the way. Because we've been, we've never ever not been cooking. I think mom's had us in the kitchen as soon as we could crawl up on the counter, you know, and, and, right. uh, and, and, stuff and I know we've talked about it before, but um, one of the, the things that I dearly love about our mom is she never discouraged us when we were cooking and we never made a mistake. Right. If, if, if we didn't do it the way, you know, we were, she thought we were, should do it or the recipe said, she would say, oh, why, how creative you are. I bet this is going to taste even better. And so she would That's encourage right. us instead of saying, what, you're not supposed What'd to put that? that in here? Oh, oh, let me do this. <laughs> Come here. You guys can't do that. I, and I've seen parents do that, but our mom didn't do it. And so, you know, that's what I that's why we fact, like to cook. In fact, mom, I still remember um, when I was probably around 10 years old and I was I, it was my privilege to make the meatloaf for potluck Sabbath at church. And I was really excited that I got to do that. And I ended up putting double the salt in. I had put two, t t I think it called for a teaspoon of salt, and I'd put in, you know, two teaspoons of salt, and I was ready to cry, because my, my ego had just gone down the hill, and I was, like, feeling so terrible here. I'd been so puffed up with pride, I got to make the meatloaf, you know. Well, Mom came in, and she saw me, and I, she goes, honey, what's the matter? And, Mom, I ruined the recipe. And, of course, you know, when we were growing up, every ingredient counted. Was, I yes. mean, it, because we didn't have much. Exactly. So yeah. ruining that recipe was also the pressure mm -hmm. of knowing I ruined those ingredients. And Mom was so sweet. She said, no, you didn't ruin nothing. She said, in fact, she said, we're just going to double the recipe. We just won't double the salt. We've already done it. We'll just double the recipe. And she says, and we'll have one to put in the in freezer. freezer for next time. And she made me feel so good. There was no more tears. And, Mom, I'll never forget that. You yeah. know? She's like, look, <laughs> look at all the work you saved me from, for next week. We're yes. just going to be able to take this out of the freezer. Yes. So, so, Mom, we just love you, and we thank you for that. All right, this is fun. I want to just tell you, I, on the dressing, uh, you might, and when I read the ingredients, you might have thought, dehydrated onions? Um, I actually um, had a dressing. The reason I used the dehydrated onions, they are not as potent. The taste is not as potent as a raw onion. And mm -hmm. so um, that's the reason that I used that. And, uh, and the idea came from my they good don't friend. They not smell either. They, <laughs> they don't have the big, yeah, you're not going to wear essence of onion if no. I get on you. But my uh, good friend, Judy Bailey, I had dinner at her house one night, and she had had a dressing, and I loved it, and I asked her what in, were the ingredients, and she said, oh, I, I had used dehydrated onions, and that gave me the idea. I thought, well, I really like that, so thank you, Judy. All right, so one thing I do know th about this, though, as I've tried just mixing it up and putting it on, and I don't like it as well, I like when all the, the dressing is mixed up in the blender and it just emulsifies and it's a finer dressing. So since And if you don't have a big blender like that, you can just put it in a container and shake it like this and be your own blender. And, and because there's a lot of people right. out here good that don't have a blender. Too. Yes. Yes. The taste will be good. I just happen to like it really fine. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, usually I find a, um, I can get about a fourth of a cup of of um, lemon juice squeezed out of one lemon and um, send it, let's see if we can. If not, there's, don't slice that one in case we need it. Um, I think you can do it with one. I did it when you I mean was prepping. You mean in case we don't need it? Yeah, in case we don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I was actually thinking in case we need it for another recipe. <laughs> I, I figured that was what you were saying. All right, so um, Linda, you can put in the, um, the rest of the ingredients here over there and while she's doing that 
I'm just going to be throwing in all these together and you'll see how fast this goes together here. Really, really quick. And you know, I should have got so a strainer. So you already have your pasta cooked, right? My pasta's already cooked. I'm just dumping in all the ingredients. Was there extra salt? There was, uh -huh. that was that one. Uh, nope. It was a, you're, you're fine. I'm fine. You're okay. fine. Just one thing you need is a strainer if you're going to do, squeeze your own orange, uh, own lemon juice. Okay. So that you don't have all the seeds in there. I hand squeezed mine today. Yeah. And then I picked out the seeds. Yeah. <laughs> I, I took a spoon and forked well, them I, out. Well, I was excited because um, I actually have Grandma's original um, lemon squeezer, but I'm so afraid of it. anything happened to it. I, I'm, I confess I don't use it much. And I have her measuring cup that was mm -hmm. about a hundred years old. Mm-hmm. And I have her coal bucket when okay, she brought coal in from the... We're, we're going to just do this real quick. Let's see how much we got in here. I'll fish that up for you if it's not a fourth a cup. Let's see here. Nope. You're going to have to, you're going to have to slice into that. Oh, well. Let's get that seed out of there. Okay, and there, there is a garbage can back here, folks. I did not throw that seed on the floor. <laughs> just say, Mom, I just wanted you to know. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, we don't really have to blend that up right now because it's going to make a lot of noise because all you're going to do is throw all those ingredients I in there. I love noise. We're having a party. Blend it up. <laughs> Mick toss this together and I have one already prepared for you and it's right over here and you can see and I just cut those little yellow peppers uh, in, a, in, in, in slices just for a decorative, I like the difference in shapes and there's two different kinds of beans. We have the dark kidney, we have the pinto beans, you can choose your own. You know, add garbanzos or and another piece. Yeah, or, or that's black delicious. Beans. And uh, there you go. You know, I'm thinking maybe I should try this. I got. I brought my Look own this. spoon <laughs> this time. <laughs> you did. I brought my own spoon. Oh, wait a minute. I got to wait for the dressing. Yeah, don't I was going to say, there's no dressing oh, on there. Man, I was all ready, too. All I brought right. my spoon. Well, you know what I'm ready for is Linda's Hungarian Ooh, goulash. I'll Spicy save, my, Hungarian I'll save goulash. my spoon for that. Okay, for that, you will need a fourth a cup of water one cup of onions, one cup of veggie burger, one clove of garlic fresh, one cup of canned diced tomatoes, two cups of canned crushed tomatoes, two cups of spaghetti sauce, one cup of canned dark red kidney beans, salt to taste, one teaspoon of McKay's beef seasoning, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, four cups of elbow pasta or your favorite kind, cooked. And you'll need some nonstick cooking spray. All right. Mm. Now, I know that we grew up eating Hungarian goulash. <laughs> it was my favorite thing to make. And all everybody knew that when I cooked, it was going to be goulash. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or tomatoes and macaroni, one yes, or the other. I love right. that. Just but it was still a canned tomatoes and macaroni. It's still noodles. a form of goulash. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was still a form of goulash. She just in a hurry, and she just dumped tomatoes and red kidney beans. <laughs> what was really fun, um, Mom made it really fun for us to cook, is every night of the week, one of us, got. it was our turn to prepare the meal and everyone else had to do the dishes so we all looked forward to our mm -hmm. night to cook mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it was fun we it when we got to be the ones that actually got to fix the meal oh that that was a big deal that was a big deal yeah I think now I look back on it I see it was a big deal for mom too. <laughs> <laughs> mom's a wise woman <laughs> Well, Brenda has turned our fire on for us, and I am not going to use the uh, spray uh, oils or, spray. Uh -uh, because I'm going to use water. Okay. And I have already um, sautéed um, my onions in the microwave for just a little bit, so the dish is still kind of warm. Well, not really sautéed. She no. just cooked them in the microwave for a little bit. My kind of sauté. All right, you're going to have to ask Mom to look the other way on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put those in there, and those are already almost cooked. So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and add um, my tomatoes. Okay. And remember, you can tell when your onion is cooked because it, it um, Turns takes clear. on a translucent yeah. um, text, uh, this look. This you can sprinkle okay. in Very uh, clear. McKay's beef seasoning. Beef style seasoning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the red pepper flakes. You got salt in there? Yep, you can put some salt in there. Okay. I'm getting in on and the action. do you want the garlic? You can put that other tomatoes you want in. The garlic it. in now? Yes, you can put okay. the garlic in now. 
It doesn't work. really have to be a special order just so your onions are done. Burger? You want burger in? Mm. Let me stir this around, then you can put the burger in. Get that garlic going. Maybe that's one way I always liked this recipe, or reason I did, is because it was so easy. Yo, you liked it because it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's really true. You used to eat it. it as a sandwich, too. But it you'd is put an it in easy between meal. bread and she'd eat it as a sandwich. I think people would really be surprised at how tasty just plain macaroni noodles and canned tomatoes are. It oh. really is good. With I, a little salt. With a little salt, that's mm -hmm. right. These are tasty, too. <laughs> are you over there eating ingredients? I think I'll put them in. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh, that was a good I one. I saved you one. Oh, one more. I saved you one. Oh, thank you. That was good. Yes, and they're so good for you. Legumes mm -hmm. are so good for you. Mm -hmm. That's burger? good protein. Yes, you can put the burger in. Boop. Okay. okay, we're going to cook this. We'll right. cook this up for just a little bit, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then... Just um, to get, incorporate all the seasoning. Mm -hmm. And then when it's already um, cooked together and the flavors are all blended... It's kind then of hot and bubbly. Hot and bubbly, yes. I'll, I usually do cook it for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, do, if the onion's are already almost done. Yeah. And then we have some right here, and you can see how what it looks like when it's all finished. And you just sprinkle oh, it with a little parsley. That looks and, good. And um, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. done. That's all there is to it. Well, I think there's a one more thing to it that I need to do. One more thing? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to make it easier for you here, sis. So, so here, you don't have to... What? Yes, I'm going to make it real easy. Stir it up. Go for it. What? We're going to get the walleye here in a moment. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and look at the size of that spoon! I gotta make sure I gotta make sure I get enough to eat. I mean, come on! She hasn't really had too much to eat today. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On that note, <laughs> moving on to our next recipe mm -hmm. is Cinda's Italian pasta cup. Mm -hmm. Me, I read the recipe. Yeah, that's you, a right? good idea. Mm -hmm. All right. For that, you'll need four cups of whole wheat mini rotini pasta, uncooked, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, one medium onion, diced fine, two cloves of garlic, minced, two and one half cups of soy sausage crumbles, two cups of marinara sauce, three cups of vegan mozzarella cheese or cheese of your choice. Wow, that sounds good. It, it good and simple. Sis, if you'll turn the um, skillet, the fire, the fire, turn the fire on so we can get the skillet hot. There you go. And um, let's get our onions cooking. Okay. Good and done. There we go. And. Now, on the um, sausage crumbles, the soy sausage crumbles. Say that three times, folks. Soy <laughs> sausage. <laughs> I was really struggling trying to even read that recipe for her. <laughs> soy sausage crumbles. <laughs> you can, um, there. We'll put your muscles to work this time. Oh, she's going to make you, me You can do the garlic. garlic, yes. I'll make sure you get essence of garlic. <laughs> Um, for the soy sausage crumbles, you can use any type of vegan soy sausage that you can find. And if you can't find it, take a, um, you know, one of those Boca burgers, the frozen Boca burger patties, and crumble it up. Here, let me help her out. Go, go! Whoa. Squee! <laughs> <laughs> and make sure when you do the garlic, you have three people in the kitchen to help you. That's right. <laughs> At least two. And if you don't actually want to touch the garlic with your fingers so your hands smell like her, <laughs> like her. you pick it up. <laughs> I'm beating her at own game here. See, I, I picked it up with a knife. <laughs> Although a really good trick. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> What's your really good trick? <laughs> Never helped me with it there. So you got some missing on there. Uh, is if you do get garlic or onion on your hand, take a stainless steel, like if you have a, your silverware stainless steel, a uh, spoon or something like, like that, that, and you just rub your hands on that stainless steel under cold water, it really works. It takes that smell That's right you, out of there. You can just hold the knife like that on either side and then just run it under well, um, cold water. You see, when you Great. don't like onions, you find a lot of ways yeah. to get rid of the smell and things. <laughs> okay, well, that one really works. I know that works because I'm really sensitive about smells. We're going to add our soy sausage. Crumbles. Crumbles. you got to say that three times. <laughs> 
So or, we, or you could use any of your favorite uh, vegan Yeah, burger. that's what I was yeah. telling him. You could use your favorite yeah. vegan burger and just crumble it up and, you know, put it in there. But the sausage is already seasoned, so you're getting some of that seasoning in your mix. So if you're right. going to use just raw veggie burger, wouldn't you suggest they spice exactly. it up a little? Exactly. Yeah, cause Good it, point. <laughs> well, I just want to preserve your recipe here. Exactly. And actually, I think, and I know Brenda thinks, any recipe you make can be spiced up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to let this saute. Okay. And then um, we'll put in our sauce. It's almost ready. No, not quite. Really? Okay. <laughs> Let's wait just a minute. <laughs> <She's thinner. laughs> Did you want to no, taste the no, sauce? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> We'll put our I'll sauce. I'll behave myself now. And you can put in your favorite uh, marinara sauce too. It can be a, one that you've bought at the store, or it can be your homemade one. And um, put your marinara sauce in there. Stir that up. When I now, when I make you know, marinara um, sauce, I like to make up extra and put it some in my freezer in a quart canning jar because those are good for freezing too. Right. And so I put it in my canning jar and put it in my freezer and it's really Mickey good. Mickey Miller, the one that helps mom with kids time Bible lessons. The kids club. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Kids club. She makes her own spaghetti sauce. She'll cook it down all day long and then can it. Oh, that's yeah. good. Oh my. She's I amazing. do when I have time. And I just want to say to Mickey, thank you so much for all you do for yeah. Jesus. The help you give mom on Kids Club is hours incredible. and hours. Hours and hours. And she grades all those lessons for mom. And that means so much uh, to, mo to our mom. It's a tremendous amount of work. Yes. We have almost, you know, well, we have over 20,000 kids enrolled in Bible studies right incredible. now from over 100 different countries around the world. So that's pretty amazing. So when you consider our mom. Pretty amazing? Is that good. is yes, very amazing. amazing. And our mom is our kids club director. She manages all of that. So, mom, we just love you. We thank you for all you do for Jesus. Okay. Now, um, vegan cheese is, um, a lot of us have a struggle finding vegan cheese. I found this cheese. Um, I actually got it in Kroger, and I don't know Grocery how to pronounce store. it. Um, we'll let Brenda um, mess it up. Yeah, here we go. Well, I'll hold it up here. <laughs> we so don't know how to pronounce like. it, but um, it melts. It's a totally vegan, and it melts better than any of the other vegan cheeses I've found. Um, so, I mean, I've I've had a lot, so I'm actually going to mix. There's a they have a mozzarella flavor, and they have a cheddar flavor, and I'm spitting. actually going to mix it. Should I turn it, it down? Um, you get you yeah, can we turn don't, it off. We don't like spitting spaghetti sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that's hey, right. Hey, she's got her essence now. You're wearing essence of broth. I'm wearing essence of onion and garlic, yeah. and now she's got essence of um, you know. Hey, that's what a party's sauce. all about. You know, so I'm going to add the um, mozzarella, and then let's add, sis, if you want to add the um, cooked pasta, okay. and you can use any kind of pasta yeah. you want. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> You can use any kind of pasta you want. I'm choosing to use the whole wheat. Um, you want me to spray this for you? So spray that for me. It's amazing because the whole wheat is such a brown color, but when you cook it, it turns like a white color anyway. So. Well, it still has a, it's still not a white noodle. Hey, It'll still be a brown noodle. Thank you. Now, I was trying to find some, a creative way to serve this, and I came up with little pasta cups. You can I make this in a casserole idea. if you want. Okay, but the go. really neat thing about this cup idea is um, you have single servings. So if you're trying to cut down on weight and you're trying to measure your intake, you can just, you have a single serving size. You can freeze these and then you can All take right. them out and there pop them however many you want Good in your lunches. lunch. Yeah. Exactly. I'm talking so, about even a sack lunch for our kids for school. Oh, that's right. Yes. I'm thinking so, so what you do is you take it like this and just put it in here. Now you'll need to bake it for um, at 400 for 25 to 30 minutes, and it'll get a little brown on top. Here's um, here's some that I have done already, and see how they keep their shape. And you can just, I mean, look at this. You can just take a bite. Yeah, right I will. I will, but um, I, I think you're the taster in the family. <laughs> see how easy it is if you're if you're on a picnic. You can just pick it up. Uh, take a bite. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, so good. Mm. 
And you have some right over there to show. That's right. Oh, and I love how you plated this up. And she made little tomato roses that are so pretty on there for garnish. And they're great for a buffet because you can just, they're single size servings. You can just, you know, plate them right up. Could you put them in uh, the little mini muffin things if you wanted something like, say, for, for an appetizer? Uh -huh. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely you could. Well, coming up next is my beef stroganoff. Let me read the recipe for you. You will need two and a half cups of soy curls, two cups of boiling water, two tablespoons of McKay's beef style seasoning, one large onion chopped, two cups of fresh mushrooms sliced, one half cup of canned mushrooms, one teaspoon of basil, one tablespoon of vegetarian Worcestershire sauce, one half cup of tofuti better than cream cheese, one half cup of tofuti better than sour cream, one tablespoon of better than bouillon mushroom base, four cups of water, one tablespoon of Bragg's liquid aminos, one tablespoon of kitchen bouquet, one tablespoon of lemon juice, salt to taste, and then for your slurry, you will need five tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of cold water. Well, I have a question for my sisters before I start this recipe. This particular recipe is extra special to me. Do you have any idea why? Hmm. Oh, because I like it? Uh, well, it's special because anything you like, I, it's special. It's your husband's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I think she had a clue about that one. My husband actually surprised me. I just served this to him recently, and he said, Honey, he said, I think of all the things you have ever cooked me, I think this is my favorite. <laughs> and I was so surprised. What did what, what, you do? Tim doesn't. Well, what did she do? Like she like went, that. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me a hard time, but I was, I was really surprised. I, I said, now I, I make, you know, uh, cook for him all the time, and I know he has a favorite meatloaf, my, <laughs> my holiday meatless meatloaf recipe, which is in our very first cookbook, is, has always been his favorite. Right. So I was just surprised that he, he would say <laughs> Well, I'm amazed, too, because uh, when you guys had just had Linda Kay, <laughs> I came out to help. Yes. And Brenda was still, you know, not feeling quite so right. So I said, oh, don't worry, I'll make, I'll make a meal for Tim. And she said, well, Tim likes everything just so. Just I said, well, I can do it. <laughs> so I went down and I made mashed potatoes and gravy and a whole bunch of stuff. And when we all sat down at the table, um, Tim took a bite of it and he said, what is this? And I felt a movement under the table. I'm kicking him. <laughs> He said, wasn't it nice for Sister Linda to make our meal tonight? <laughs> and so, yes, that is amazing that he said that <laughs> it's <his> favorite. <laughs> it took me a good year and of marriage. And we love you, Tim. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. But I got it down now after over 30 years of marriage. I got it down now. But um, this really... Do I have this down? <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to let me forget that, that expression, is she? <laughs> Well, it is a pasta party, guys. So. That's right. That's it's a right. pasta party. So, for Cindy's benefit, I went. <gasps> <laughs> All right, on three. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, I was really excited that my husband told me this is his very favorite recipe thing I've ever made him. Although he likes it over brown rice, not pasta. And I chose today to do a stroganoff over brown rice, I mean over pasta, because that's typical what people think of of beef stroganoff. And this is a good meat mm -hmm. substitute. And one of the things that I think makes this uh, recipe a winner is um, that I've chosen to use um, soy curls. Soy curls have a wonderful texture to them without uh, a, a strong flavor. So More you're like not, a meaty texture? It does. And my, it, mm -hmm. my husband really appreciated when he ate meat for years, it was really hard for him to get used to vegetarian products. And <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> and so anyway, this is one recipe. I love you. <laughs> I'm not, just keep talking here. <laughs> we are having a party. So one of the things, the very first thing you're going to do is take those soy curls. And, um, uh, and if you're wanting to know how to find them, if you are not familiar with them, uh, you can go to the Internet and look under Butler Foods. And I think you could even go to butlerfoods.com. And you could go to one of our cookbooks because there's a resource page and you can exactly. find out exactly how to get yes, them. Yes, because we share with you how to find these soy curls. But they're wonderful. And the thing that was really great about soy curls, 
gluten free. It's somebody that is gluten free that. So um, this is really a gluten free dish except for the pasta. Ex ex but except you for could the pasta, use you gluten free could, pasta. You could use a gluten free pasta. Mm -hmm. So and because even our and even our slurry that we thicken with is with cornstarch. So this would be a great gluten free recipe. So just use your your gluten free That's pasta. That's a good idea. So the very first thing you're going to do when you start this recipe, you're going to be turn this on if you would please. Okay, I could do that. And and one thing that I have really started incorporating in almost all my cooking uh, this last year more than I've ever had before and I noticed that my sisters are doing the same thing. I'm kind of skipping the couple tablespoons of oil I used to put mm -hmm. in the pan I know, to saute I do that my too. onions. And I found that I can do it just fine with just some nonstick cooking spray. So put that in the pan sis for me and we're going to um, dump the onions in there and if you would start sauteing those for me you can put those in. And while she is sauteing the onions I wanted to share with you what I do when I start this recipe. The very first thing I'm going to do is I take the soy curls. I put them in like a four cup measuring cup like this. I put the dry soy curls in. I take and take my um, McKay's beef style seasoning and I sprinkle it over. And then I pour enough boiling hot water over it, just enough to where it covers the soy curls. And when you do that, then you're going to cover it with a piece of foil or I've got saran wrap like I do right here. And you let it steam and it softens those soy curls because soy curls come dehydrated. They're dry. And by the way, um, I noticed that there's a lot of stories I found these in that keep the soy curls on the shelf. And I won't buy soy curls on the shelf. They, I only get them if, they, I, if they've been frozen because I keep mm -hmm. dry, my dry. They, they go back. They have a, a small shelf life. And so Linda's, Linda's going to keep you in check here, sis. I'm not doing a thing. Hey, I'm not doing it. anything. She's having a party. I am long. just minding my own business over here. Don't vouch for me. There you go. All right, let me throw this away. And, um, and so um, I, but make sure you, and when you buy the soy curls yourself, put them, if you buy extra, make you sure you put them in your freezer. That's where I keep them. Okay, it won't hurt at all a thing for, let's um, saute those up. And while they're sauteing, um, Linda, you can go ahead and mix up this slurry because it won't hurt to have that um, mixed up. And I'm going to go ahead and just put in the mushroom. And a slurry now, is just cornstarch and, and, water. and cold water. Cold water, uh-huh. Because if you had hot, you'd Ooh. be in trouble. Hot yep. water. you got to have cold water. That's right. And so she's going to, um, I put... You can put extra mushrooms in if you like extra mushrooms. I do. So I, you can even use more than I put in the recipe. And usually I don't cook with canned mushrooms, but I like the flavor of these canned mushrooms that give this recipe the, the, the balance of the fresh and the canned. So if you don't like them either, flavor. they do. So if you don't like that um, difference, you say, oh, I only want fresh mushrooms, that's fine. Just put extra of the regular fresh. But I'm going to use both. I, I like that. And uh, so you're going to just saute that up, and then uh, we're going to add, I'm going to go ahead and add, now this is our soy curls already seasoned with the beef style seasoning. You, you add the water and all. To rehydrate them. To rehydrate them, so, and then make sure you get every last drop out because you want all that seasoning in there, okay? And, um, and if you want, you can... Um, you can mix it ahead of time if you want to of the seasoning with the water, but I don't feel the need to. I just like to make things simplified and put that in there and sis, I've got four more cups of water over here. I'm just going to reach behind you and we're going to pour that in there. There you go. Okay, and she's going to cook that up really well. And then we're just going to, this is just the salt to taste, so I'm just adding a touch of salt. Okay. And then just, Linda, you can help me just pour in all those other things. And okay. I'll just keep stirring. You just guys keep putting it in. And I think I need that spatula assist for this one, if I could. I don't know all if right. I can get in here. Um, and this is the uh, better, than, um, uh, better Than Bouillon mushroom flavor. And if you don't have that, you can substitute with... Um, uh, just a, a, a vegetable based uh, seasoning, but I got this right in, right in the grocery store. I didn't have to get it um, at a specialty store at all. And again, in our cookbooks, you will see where we have that in there as well of how to get your, your um, better than bouillon seasoning. And then you're going to take, I've got some tofuti cream cheese. You're going to put that in there. You're going to put your tofuti sour 
cream in there and mix that all up. And when that's all cooked and nice, then we're going to add our slurry, which is going to thicken it all up. And when we're done, voila, it's already plated up on some nice uh, whole grain pasta. And you can see I decided not to garnish it with anything because I just loved the look of the, you know, uh, of the dish without it. I agree. And uh, it's and it, delicious. And try it over rice too because my husband highly recommends that. And when food looks that good, you want to take a bite. <laughs> That's right. Well, Linda, I think we are going to uh, do... Oh, we're going to roll up things here. Yes. Instead of wrap things up, we're going to roll up things. <laughs> All right. For the lasagna roll-ups, you will need one 12-ounce box of lasagna noodles cooked, one 12.3-ounce package of Mori New Tofu Extra Firm, one 8-ounce package of Tofuti Better Than Cream Cheese, a half a cup of Tofuti Sour Supreme, one 12 ounce package of Eve's Burger Meatless Ground, one tablespoon of Bragg's Liquid Aminos, one clove of garlic crushed, one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, three fourths teaspoon of sea salt, four cups of fresh baby spinach chopped, a fourth a cup of hot water, four cups of garlic herb spaghetti sauce, or your favorite sauce. <laughs> and I have lots of favorite sauces, but this looks like it's going to be one of them. It looks <laughs> delicious. And I love the idea. I love rolling it up. Yes, I do too. Because it's unique. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to get started over here with um, Sister Cinda. And we're actually, I said firm tofu, but really you can use any of the soft um, mori nu. So, so okay. any kind you want. It, fine. It, you know, if it's, if it's just real... Um, what do you call the one that's water packed? Water -packed, packed not mm -hmm. water packed. Okay. Just the silken. Silken. Use yes. silken. Okay. All right. And, and you put in the the um, tofu um, sour cream. And if you don't have that for different places, you know, around the world, just use your favorite low fat um, sour cream. And so many people think that if you to enjoy lasagna, you have to have all that cheese, which you know makes it so unhealthy for you. And that's just not the case. You can have really tasty um, lasagna without it. And this is a, a, a soy cream cheese, but if you don't have that, use a low fat. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we recognize that there's many places in the world, because this is an international network, that don't have some right. of these specialty products. And so if you don't have that in your area and you want to use, you know, your you know, regular sour cream or cream cheese, mm -hmm. um, then you really just measure it out cup for cup. Mm -hmm. And I like using the fresh. I notice you're using fresh lemon juice. It has the flavors are so much yes. better. Yes. Um, I mean, I have used the other in a pinch, but if I can use the fresh squeeze, that's what I use. Now, put the top on and blend it up. And I'm sorry for the noise. I just apologize All right, for that. All right, plug your ears right now. <laughs> I warn you. <ya. laughs> 